Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear. We're going to take a look at uh, the Bob Long 4C I systems. Um, we've got all the, the styles in front of us right here. Um, there is three different types of the 4C I system. You've got your Gen 6, your Insight, and your Gen 5. They all are a different shape and they won't work in other guns. So make sure if you're ordering a set of 4C I's that you know which version I you need, otherwise it won't fit. And then within those sets, there are two different styles. There are the standard 4CIs and there are the laser 4CIs. Now, in the laser 4CI systems, there is not a laser in them. They do not shoot a laser out. All it is is just a light that is going to light up on the inside of your breech to give you a visual representation or feedback so that you can see that your eyes are physically on. Um, we're going to take a set of the 4C laser eyes and we're going to install them in a G6R. Uh, you are going to need two tools to do that. You're going to need, um, I believe, a 564 Allen key and a Phillips head screwdriver, preferably a smaller headed Phillips head. Uh, the screw that is underneath there that holds the eye in place is kind of small, so the larger Phillips won't work. So let's go ahead and take off our eye cover. I'm going to pop that open right there. Be sure not to lose the screw that holds the eye cover on. It does come off very easily. And then underneath there, you've got a couple things you want to look out for. The detent spring, you don't want to lose that, nor do you want to lose the detent itself. I'll go ahead and pop that up. And you can see that that does come out. All these things, it's easier to just set them to the side and then work with them later. Now the eye cover you can see, or the... Uh, the force or the 2CI that is inside there is held in by one Phillips head screw and then also the wiring coming up that plugs into it. So the first thing we're going to do is take the, uh, the screw out and set it to the side. That's going to let us then fold up our eye. We can lift it up like that and then we can grab a hold of the eye and the harness and pop the eye off. Now each side is labeled for a side. This one on it has an R because it's on the right side of the gun. So make sure that when you take your laser version or your 4C standard version that you're picking the one up with an R on it so that you are installing it on the correct side. It won't fit either way as long as it's the right one, but you'll try to stick it on there and won't realize why it doesn't fit. So make sure you're picking up the right side. Now the difference between a 4CI and a 2CI is right here. It's going to be a little bit hard to see potentially on here. But the 2CI has one eye per side, and that is going to sit right there. The 4C has two eyes per side. It has the same lower eye right there, but then it also has an upper eye as well. So it can actually read the ball when it is falling or sitting up higher in the breech, and it can predict when the ball is going to come into the breech and actually cycle quicker because it knows where the ball is when it starts and where the ball is going to be when it ends up. So it's able to detect the balls quicker and better giving your gun a potentially higher rate of fire. Um, to put them in, basically we're going to do opposite of what we did to take them out. The first thing I'm going to do is connect the 4C or the, the eye on, and then I'm going to put it down, tuck it into its spot. I'm then going to put in my Phillips head screw. Make sure you're putting it in the proper hole for the screw. The the upper hole is the one that's going to hold the screw in or the eye board in place. The lower hole is the one that's going to go for the eye cover itself. So we're then going to take this, put it in there, put that in there, make sure that everything's together. I find it easier to put my screw through my eye first. Then I can just set it down on top and screw it together. We're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Eye covers off, detent spring out, detent out, board screw out, lift up our board, grab a hold of the harness, never just grab one wire and pull, you're going to pull the wires out of the harness, make sure you grab a hold of the whole harness so you're not ripping any wires out. Go ahead and plug our new eye in. Push it down into its place. Put our screw in. Remember, don't over tighten these. You just want to put it in until it's snug. You don't want to crush the board. 
take our eye detent, put it in, our detent spring, put it in, and then our eye cover, put it into place, and screw it in. Now, with the eyes on there, if you were to power it up with the original eyes on there, the board will register as a 2CI. But if we power up now, and it comes on, it's going to automatically register as a 4CI at the top. It automatically detects and knows that you're running a 4CI system, so you don't need to worry about changing anything in the programming. It automatically knows that it's in there. So if you're looking to upgrade your eye system in any of your Bob Long guns, Check out the 4C I systems, both the standard and the laser version. They will uh, enhance the performance of your gun. They're available through the website. Order yours now at ansgear.com.